to the Meiwa family, the father of Senzo, who's among us here today, and all the family members of Meiwa family present here today. To Mlauzi, his cousins representing the family here today, and the entire Mlauzi family. To Orlando Pirates Football Club, represented here by Ntate Franklin on behalf of the chairman, Dr. Ivan Koza, the entire Orlando Pirates family, players, and the management of Orlando Pirates. Bafana Bafana family, represented here by Denny Jordan, and the coach of Bafana Bafana, Sheikhs Mashaba. All players in the PSL who are colleagues of Senzo Meiwa, all coaches and practitioners of the PSL and Bafana Bafana, and all athletes and sports persons in South Africa present here today. Akutanga Lunga Sanga Kuzo Kunjalo Kuzo Zonke in Tang Akulasegelanga Nina Nortua Silasegelo Sonke Singum Zanz Africa Friends of Senzo Meiwa who might not have the voice to stand up here today and speak of their beloved one. Can you draw solace from the knowledge that you are not alone in this time of bereavement? To my colleague, David Makura, the Premier of Gauteng, and all members of the executive in Gauteng, and all mayors and councillors present here today, and all members of the legislature. Thank you very much, Premier, for making it possible for us to gather in this way, to share our grief and pass our heartfelt condolences to these families who are present here today and the loved ones who are here today. To Mama Winnie Mandela, the mother of the nation. Umangutia Nangokwa Ake. Siabulela, Mama. Siabulela, Mama. Gobu Kobako. Goba Kutiwa. Kasisutu. Mangwa Nautsara Tipakabu Haling. Ufasatari Galifel. Ufasa Tarika Lifela Lifu Kingweti Yamala Paoche Watinta Bafazi Watinti Bogoto Uzagu Fa Finish and Clar Ubu Kovako Apa Namsanje Mama We ask Kutaza because the pain which will be felt here today is the pain of the mother who gave birth to these young stars of South Africa. Siabulela, Mangutiana, Kobu Kobako, Noba Auzutet, Aubu Kobako, J. Sipili, Emoyen, Utatum Lange, Istuala Andwe, Siaparangwe. He reminds us of our fallen heroes. Utatum Langeni is one of the two only uh, veterans and his Twalande that are still remaining. After Nelson Mandela, Walter Sisulu, Oliver Tambo, and others. 
and for you, Tatum Langen, at your age, to stand up, Ubambindu Guyako, Ukalele Uzo Fika Apa, it says a lot about these fallen youngsters. And Namshanje, Nova Besikala, Situngu Bafana Sisotwa, Kulemeko Sikuyo. We feel strong today. We are strengthened by your presence here today. My colleagues, Deputy Minister Uamhert Uostazen, Osas Baya Trotz, Van E. Yiso Hevieset, Om Samet Ons Yiso Tevies. Osas Baya Trotz, Van Onse Nationale. Campio Yun Squad di Springboks, Jan de Villiers. And Jan de Villiers for speaking here to us. It says one thing to all of us and to humanity. We are unique, but we are united and our strength is in our diversity. And you expressed here today words of condolences to the families but we know that it comes also from other quarters of South Africa. We are a great nation. We are a nation of warriors. To our football supporters, what will football and sport be without you? Nisala Nikona Ebunzime, you are always there. I thank you for your discipline even though there were a few who were ill-disciplined today. <laughs> but I thank you for your discipline. It is unprecedented that we had a memorial service for three dead people. And today, that is why it's long. It's unprecedented. And we can never compare them. They are not the same. You can't say the other one is important than the other one. The most important thing, they are patriots. Kabantwana bamzantz Africa, bane talente ezihluka hlukile. And all of them in their own way, they served their country to the best of their ability. Ubuntu Ubuntu humanity brought us here together. We could have said, Senzo is the youngest. We cry when we talk about Senzo because we expected a lot from him. Because Senzo was one of the young and upcoming stars of our national team, Bafana Bafana. And Bafana Bafana is on a journey of doing very well. Under Sheikh's Mashaba, and the Senzo Meiwa, and the collective bunch of winners that they have around them. We cry for Senzo because Senzo was part of the ship that we were steering in the right direction. We are not saying that tomorrow when they lose, we'll give up. Even if we can lose tomorrow, I don't care because I know where we are going. But I must say, you surpassed your own expectation and my expectation and the nation's expectation. Because, hey man, and when I went to the Bafana Bafana camp, I was received by the HOD, Uma Muriel Doab. She was there with me when I went there to see the players. And I was speaking to Senzo. He was complaining to me about something, but nice complaint. We always talk. I won't talk about it today. I'll talk to his father about it. And uh, when he was basically complaining, it was a jubilant mood for the team. And I saw young stars who are brought together, who are very much ambitious to succeed. 
You can never be young and lack ambition because you'll be suffering in psychological terms from what they call learned helplessness. You must be young, ambitious. And when Itumelen Kune says they and Senzo were full of ambition and verve and competition, I like that. Because that's what South Africa wants. South Africa don't want young people who, when the aeroplane has long passed, they look up and say, I guy aeroplane, mama. <laughs> South Africa want young people. Oma Sabela, Bapaga me bayemfazwe. And I'm saying to coach Mashaba and Safa family and everybody, Amasi Abegelange, we never made this call. But may the death of Senzo be an inspiration for you to even succeed more and be inspired by his deeds. And I'm saying without asking for more on behalf of the nation, go and do us proud and fight for this great nation. And to Senzo, may you us kill us. South Africa, it is our task. They can run, but they will not hide. We will find them. If they are your friends, if they are your boyfriends, release them before we get to them. Goba ikasa figa tina kubo kuza gonagala kuza kauka unobata. If they are your distant relatives, advise them to come to the fore. Because this nation will never be at peace until we find them. And the, the machinery of justice is grinding. Each one of us here today has got a task, has got a responsibility. Someone, somewhere, and someone, somehow, knows who killed Senzo Meiwa. And then we will find them. Senzo's death must consolidate our resolve as a nation to clean our streets of criminals. And let us stop celebrating criminals. Let a criminal be a criminal, not a role model. And my advice to fellow South Africans and soccer players, your fame and your success attract unholy friends. Be on the lookout. Government is not going to search you and search you even in your bed and advise you who must be your friend, who must not be your friend, and who must not be your companion. Boys and girls, take responsibility for your lives. And we love you. We love you because these unholy friends are the ones who come to us as good, but at the same time, they are wolves masked in a sheepskin. And we must be aware about that kapelani. And work with government and the South African Police Service to fight crime in South Africa. And I just want to say that to all South Africans and to everybody else, we are very much heartened by the spirit of all South Africans to seek to find the criminals who killed Senzo Meiwa. It's a matter of weeks, it's a matter of days, it's a matter of minutes and seconds before we get to them. South Africa, we want to thank you for working very hard do what you are doing to Senzo, to others, to get rid of crime. Our task as government is to resolve on our policies and programs to fight the scourge of crime by implementing meaningful programs in the fight and bringing about programs that seek to lift our people from unemployment and poverty. And we are committed to that. To the Mlaudzi family, yesterday we were in Limpopo 
and we visit the family of Mlauti, and we spoke to the father. And when we left, he made a commitment that he will send his cousins and children to come to this memorial. And Mlauti's father and mother were not in a position to come here. In the deep village in Limpopo, in Bembe region. And when we arrived there and when we left with Casta Simenia, the family said, we must tell you that they are very much proud of being South African. That they know that as much as they've lost their loved one, today they might have never measured whom Lauzi was and their family in the nation. But after his passing on, they know that they are not alone in their grief. And they want to thank you and all South Africa for the support and messages of condolences that you have given to the family. And I just want to say to ASA Athletic South Africa, we are on a journey. When Mulauzi passed on, he was on a journey to work with everyone to ensure that he plows back to South Africa. There is nothing that Mlauti, we owe him that is leaving us in this tragic manner. We owe more to Mlauti more than he owes to us. And that is why he deserves an honor from us as South Africa. But we feel betrayed by the fact that we never knew the moment and time that he will actually depart. And for that accident to have actually happened, when we had so many big ideas from Lauzi and athletics in South Africa, it's a sore point to us. But we know that the path that he has traversed over time is the path that will be followed by many athletes in South Africa. Mbulaeni Mlauzi, a young boy from Limpopo, Bembe region, in the deep rural of the north, where nobody ever knew that there could be talent out there, but went not only to represent his village to be a great South African, the first South African to be number one in athletics, first African in South Africa. And the world knew about us and our flag by Mlauzi. Mlauzi, when we construct the story of the new dispensation, when we read and write books about the history of sport in South Africa, Mlauzi will be number one. And therefore, as we bid farewell to him today, we know for a fact that he will not be forgotten. Because ours is about memory against forgetting. And we will continue to remember Mlauzi for what he stands for and what he did for South African athletics in South Africa. To Pindi. Pindi left us also so soon when women's sport in South Africa has not turned professional from all sporting codes. And Pindi, in her own right, was a very, very talented young person. And I just want to say to you, as a Minister of Sport in this government, we will leave no stone unturned to ensure that we get a full report. I know there's been a report about what happened to Pindi. I can never be happy as a minister when a young star die in a ring trying to fight and inspire others. We must investigate and get to the bottom of what happened. If nothing happened, it's still fine. But if something happened and negligence could have happened in that, heads must run. And that is what is important. Human life is not cheap by any other standard. Young people get into the boxing ring only in the times of Murake. Have we ever had an incident of a boxer who died in a boxing ring? I'm not saying anything happened or any mischief we have accepted, but it is important to make a follow-up. It is important to make a follow-up because boxing in general is an important sport in South Africa. It is important in terms of how athletes are remunerated, how athletes are basically recognized. You yourselves, where you are seated, you don't know where it's pinned because you never saw her on television. Because boxing, as we are speaking now, is on blackout on television. 
South Africa has missed an opportunity to see this young athlete on television. I am fighting on a daily basis to make it a point that boxing is coming back to television so that you can see and follow your heroes on television in South Africa. And that is how we will honor Pindi for what he has done. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to say in South Africa today, when we salute these sporting heroes, we are going next year, which we have started now, to construct a hall of fame for all our sporting athletes in South Africa. There's no hall of fame that is going to remain in private hands. Some people who want to make money, they are running a hall of fame in the boot of their car. We are going to construct a hall of fame for everybody to know about it. And uh, each athlete who perform according to their standard will be inducted in the hall of fame. And uh, these athletes will be among the first to be inducted in that hall of fame and those who passed on in South Africa. I've asked the deputy minister, Gert Wostazen, to lead this important project. Next year, before end of the year, we will have for the first time in South Africa a National Sporting Hall of Fame for everyone in Mzanti, South Africa. I want to thank all media in South Africa for your support and therefore actually elevating this occasion and this tragic loss to South Africa to the moment where it is supposed to be. I want to thank you for inspiring all our people in South Africa in unity to see things in a direction where in which we commemorate and at the same time we are able to come to terms with the loss of these athletes. And I just want to say I want to also thank Prasa for unveiling buses. There will be buses from here to Limpopo, those who want to go to Mlaudzi. There will be buses and trains from here to KwaZulu Natal, Moses Mabida Stadium, for those who want to bid farewell to Senzo Meiwa. There will, be, there will be free trains in and around Deben to go to Moses Mabida Stadium on Saturday. So everybody is catered for. Saddam, please don't call me for transport. I've just explained. There is transport to go to Deben and everywhere else where we want to go to. And I want to thank everybody who have worked with government to bring this occasion uh, together. And I want to thank President Zuma, who expressed his heartfelt condolences to the families, to say to all families, Akutanga Elungatanga, on behalf of the South African government. I'm standing here today carrying those important messages of condolences. And I want to thank the entire family of sport uh, for grieving in this particular occasion and what we have come to witness in these few days uh, of commemorating the lives and times of these athletes. South Africa, I want to say in conclusion to all of us, and to everyone who have cherished this moment. You might have never known how important is somebody to your life up until when they pass on and up until they are no more. I never knew how we might have felt the loss with the passing on of Senzo Meiwa. It was like losing a brother. Somebody was always around. With the passing on of Malauzi, and the passing on of Pindil. And I want to say to their families, may this occasion and their burial finally on Saturday be an occasion where you know that South Africa shares your grief and your sorrow in this time. And I think in their footsteps, many athletes will emerge for South Africa. When we go to Umlas in KwaZulu Natal or Lady Smith, or go to Bemberiji to go and look out from Laudzi. We know for a fact that these are youngsters 
who never accepted their circumstances to define the fact that they cannot be anything in life. They emerge from the doldrums where apartheid dumped many of our people. They emerge from there to become heroes of all South African people. May their souls rest in peace. Let us bid farewell as we have done throughout the week to all our sporting heroes the way we'll do throughout and up until the weekend. Thank you very much to everybody for your support. And I want to thank, lastly, the South African broadcaster, uh, all broadcasters, and uh, also thank uh, Supersport, ENCA, ANN7. Uh, I might have forgotten your local community radio station, Comrade David Makura in Vembe, but all radio stations and local televisions, we thank you for the support and all media houses in South Africa for telling the story because you are not telling it to us, you are telling it to future generations. Thank you very much for this moment. May the souls of our athletes rest in peace. South Africa, may God bless you and God bless Africa. Thank you. Thank you very much, Minister. Can we just ask uh, the minister just to stand by?